everyone welcome to stop moms have time for today's video is going to be about making bath bombs and they're going to look like carrots for easter i don't know about you but my kids love bath bombs so i have a little helper here and she's gonna help me make this one cup of epsom salt one cup of epsom salt okay that's it whatever you do do not put it in your mouth it's not salt for cooking, you're right. Yes, no salt. And then you need a cup of Epsom salt. Is this Epsom salt? Oh no, a cup of citric acid. Silly mama, Silly mama is right. And then we need a cup of cornstarch. Woo, woo. I mean, a cup of cornstarch. Right in there. It's cool, it feels so soft. I'm showing everybody that I can collab it. That's two cups of bacon used for this. Alright, last thing. Put that in there. Alright, I'm gonna give you a spoon. So we're gonna mix it all up. Oh. <laughs> you look like you have gray hair. Alright, don't get it in your eye. So, so we mix it like we mix it all up. Mix it all up. Keep it in the bowl if you can. I got some, you okay if I got some on the table? Yeah, that's okay. I got some on my dress too. That's <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe use an apron with your kids. Should have thought about that. All right. <laughs> now we're going to mix all the wet ingredients. Half a cup of oh. castor oil. Then you're gonna add two teaspoons of water. One. Lemon, lemon, guys, All right, so we're gonna use lemon essential oil for our bath bombs, but you can use whatever you want. I love you, Allison. And Allison, watch me. I hope she's watching because you just said I love you. Shake it up like this. There you go. I'm sorry. It's okay. We're going to make our bath bombs an orange color for carrots. Can I do it? Um, let me get the ratio right first. And you can mix it. All right, stir it up. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a pastry bag to form the shape of our carrot. So for this, you really need to fill the bag and then try to squeeze it all the way down to the bottom. All right, so once you've got it really well packed in there, it's gonna kind of look like this. I'm gonna just twist the top. So I'm just gonna use a ribbon to tie it off to make it nice and tight. And then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. So after we finish the bath bombs, I put them in the refrigerator to let them chill overnight and then in the morning I put on green pipe cleaners as the vines and then they're ready to go. You can just stick them in any Easter basket as an extra little filler. If you have kids or even teenagers who like bath bombs, I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Please subscribe and I will see you next time. Mm, that's one, so we have three more. Alright, but what I want you to do... I'm really sorry that I needed it. Well, we make messes sometimes. Yeah, we do. Or, in your case, we make messes lots of times. Alright, that's a little too much. Yeah! See, mommy makes messes too.